What's up guys, my name is Aaron, and today I'm going to be reviewing Hard to Love. This is the 8th studio album by Usher, who is an R&B pop artist. I feel like he's a talented guy, but I feel like albums since Confessions, that was like a classic album to me. I feel like they kind of don't show off his talents that well, and they're kind of, the albums since Confessions are kind of lackluster to me. Um, I feel like this album's definitely like, the step in the right direction. I feel like this is probably his best album since Confessions. But I kind of felt like it had some bad things that knocked the album down for me. Kind of like the cover. Wasn't a big fan of the cover. But I felt like it was a good album overall. I like the production. He's kind of doing that kind of modern R&B hip hop thing. That kind of like dark um, atmospheric thing. Uh, but I do like it here. I feel like he kind of fits the beats and stuff really well on this album. The song Rivals, I really love the chill vibe of this track. With the guitar, that's really pretty. The really muted bass is really groovy. I like the strings. The strings are really nice on this song. Um, and I like Future's presence on this a lot. I'm a huge fan of Future and it kind of harkens back to his Honest or Pluto days. Um, I felt like this was probably the best beat on the album. Missing You, kind of have like an early 2000s Timbaland vibe to it. I like the vocal sample, the piano, the drums. It definitely could be played in like a lounge or something like that. I do like that uh, really uh, laid back vibe to it. And the song Bump, I love the whimsical but hard hitting vibe of the track. With the 80s synth, the vocal samples, the hard drums, I thought this was a really cool beat to me. The beats were modern but Usher fit them really well. He didn't sound like out of place or like an old singer trying to stay hip or something like that. He just fit the beats really well to me. Um, I felt like the vocal performance was really good. He sounds great on this. He's really versatile as a singer. On No Limit, he kind of fits the hip hop vibe to it. Um, he's kind of like half rapping, half singing on this. I feel like it's a really smooth performance. On the song Let Me, he's kind of like in full rap mode. Like he kind of sounds like Party Next Door. Um, he really fits the vibe of that track a lot. And the song Rivals, he sounds really emotional and really heartfelt on that track. I like his performance on that song a lot. Um, I feel like his perform vocal performance was really good. He had, he switched up how he sang and how he rapped on this a lot. And I do like that he can kind of sound good on any type of thing. Um, the themes were kind of just, you know, regular Usher th things. Um, he's just mostly talking about love, relationship, heartbreak, sex, things like that. Um... If you've, if you've heard an Usher album, if you've heard Usher songs, you know what to expect from this. I'm really not going to get into detail. He's just kind of, you know, talking about that kind of regular stuff. Um, I felt like the major problem with this is that it was too long. It wasn't this, the eight minute track. I felt like that was a good song, but I felt like he could have easily cut the last three songs on this and then kind of cut like two more songs and had like a nine or ten track length and it would have been a good... I felt like that would have been good. I felt like 15 tracks was a lot, and he didn't really need to, you know, do that. And I felt like it would have made, like, a tighter, more concise album. Um, but overall, I did like it. Um, I thought that it had modern production that Usher fit really well. He didn't sound like an old dude trying to do mu new music. He sounded uh, comfortable. I felt like he had a strong vocal performance, whether it came to singing or rapping. And I felt like it had good themes, too. Um, just kind of regular Usher themes, but there was some thought behind it. I felt like it was too long. It didn't need to be 15 tracks. Could have been like 9 or 10, and it would have been like a more concise, kind of more to the point album. Overall, we give it a B. <laughs> definitely one of the better Usher projects since Confessions, I feel like. Um, I would definitely give this a listen if you're even mildly interested in Usher now. Um, I thought this was a pretty decent album. So what did you guys think? Did you like the album? Did you hate the album? Let me know in the comments what you thought, and thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Bye.